Okay, so if you're following along in the blog, you should have gone through and set up your uh, Facebook business manager um, from the Facebook uh, business.facebook.com. So you'll see a page that looks similar like this, but you'll just have your one business, right? Instead of all these different businesses. So, um, you know, one thing to remember when you're dealing with Facebook is that they move things around all the time. But usually you don't change the naming conventions. So if you start to learn the names of things, then you can usually find, you just have to look. And so the one thing I wanna say is like, don't be scared, you're not gonna break anything. Um, so like look around and like click on things and become familiar. So and for example, so um, this is uh, obviously my business um, manager and it brings in the picture from my uh, personal Facebook page. Um, even though it's completely separate, none of the businesses I work with have me listed like as the, the admin on the page where people can see publicly. Um, and you can access the different businesses that you are considered, that you are employees of the business, and I'll explain that in a letter, a later um, video. But, so anyways, so you can move between different businesses that you work on here. So like if you're a person that has several different businesses, maybe you have a yoga studio and a restaurant and a blah, 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 you can have one business manager to manage all the Facebook, um, all the Facebook pages and all the Facebook business managers, um, which is also referred to as Facebook assets. So, all right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add those Facebook assets, assets to your business manager. And what Facebook app, um, <laughs> I can't speak. What Facebook assets are is a fancy word for the Facebook business page, the um, Facebook business, um, the Facebook ads manager, and Pixel, and among other things. But um, those are the main ones that most people will be dealing with, right? So what you want to do is... Um, Go over here to where it says business manager and you'll get a bunch of shortcuts for different places you can sort of navigate to so you can go to ads manager business settings audiences etc and so i'll go through some of these different ones in later videos but um, for now you want to hit business settings so the business settings are going to take you to a place where you can start to add your facebook business page and make changes and stuff like that so you click that then it's going to ask you basically to select your business and so in this case i'm going to select la social karma and it's going to take me to the actual business settings of that page, right? So you, if you only have one business, it probably isn't going to ask you that. So um, in here, the first thing I, I suggest doing when you set up your business manager is go ahead and add your pages. So um, you, just on the left-hand side, you'll see um, pages and you'll click on it. And what you want to do is you'll select up here, add, and you'll either want to add a page and that's a page that you own already that it's your personal page or request access so example like if you're working with us as an agency we would then request access to the page we're not going to take ownership of the page or lastly you would create a new page now there are some instances where <laughs> many years ago when facebook first rolled out the um, business manager they sort of forced business managers on um, on the businesses and what happened was a lot of times the the marketing agency or the social media consultant became the owner of the business and it was just basically out of lack of knowledge um, but you can um, so if you go to add your page that you think you own and all of a sudden it says you don't own it <laughs> you um, have to just contact the person that used to work on your Facebook business page and ask them to please log into business.facebook with a personal login and see if they actually own the account. And a lot of times they will and they won't even know that they have owned the account. So just a little um, tip there because it really does come up a lot. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, you'll just select add and then you'll actually type the name of the page you want to add. You'll select it and you'll go add. And if you have the correct permissions, it'll just add it to that. Just make sure if you're an agency that you're requesting access and not adding it because then you then you could, if they don't have an ownership of the page, you could actually end up owning it, um, which can be undone, so it's not a big deal. So the next thing I want to do is, if you have an ad account, go ahead and do the same thing. Go, you know, add the account. You'll have to get um, the ad account number, which actually can be found, uh, let's see, here, I believe. Uh, I have to check and make sure that's correct. But yeah, that you would actually type that number in to add the ad account. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, good. Um, and and then um, you would, if if you were the owner of that account, it would bring it in. Now, so this is really really important. If you're an agency, you would request access, not 
add an ad account because once you add an ad account to your business manager, you own that ad account and you cannot get rid of it. <laughs> and so in that case, the, the business would have to start a new ad account if they ever stop working with you. So it's really, really important that you, that the, the customer sets up the ad account in their, in their business manager and gives you access to it. So super, super important. So you would add that your ad account here and that would be, um, so you do that. And then the last thing you probably want to do is um, you want to add your Instagram account. And the same thing here, you would just, um, you add your credentials um, to the account. And um, the one thing that's just super critical, again, is like make sure you don't take ownership of the ad account because you cannot undo it. <laughs> And that can be upsetting to a client if, you know, if they've been running ads for many years. I mean, if they've only been doing it a few weeks, like it's not going to be a big deal. But, you know, if they've been using that ad account and you take ownership of it for all these years, that's not going to be a good deal. So anyways, um, so then the next thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to add the people. So when you go add and then you just type their, you can actually use their business email address, which I think is really great, or their, or their personal Facebook account. Um, but this, what's great about this is you don't actually have to become friends with them, which is, you know, a huge, um, which kind of sucks. Like, you know, everyone you work with, you have to become personal Facebook friends. Um, this way you can just type their email address in um, to invite them to the page. Um, and then you can give them, you know, whatever employee access or admin access. And then... Um, it won't work because this is already, I'm already, let's do a different one. Um, and then go next. And then I can decide like what kind of um, access I want them to have, um, ads or whatever. Uh, and then So here's so actually classic page. Um, and then I would say manage full, full control here. And then I would invite the pages that I would want them to manage. And I would say invite. And then an invitation would be sent to this person, right? Now, uh, a lot of times the uh, invitation does not go through. And so that's a hassle. So what you wanna do is just come back in here and go resend and what you can do is copy and paste this link and just send it to them in an email and then that way they'll easily be able to um, to uh, um, to um, add themselves to a business manager and then you can invite them under their business email address but they're still gonna have to do it through their um, they're still gonna have to set up the business manager with a personal Facebook page, but it still keeps you guys separate as far as you don't have to become friends or anything like that. And then what I think is a really great thing is um, when people leave the organization, like before you'd have to go around to each individual Facebook page and remember to take them off. And now it's like you go in the business manager and like, oh, well, such and such doesn't work here anymore. And you can just remove access to the different pages. Um, so I think that's really nice. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps in um, setting up. Oh, here's one more thing, just for the page access too. So when you go, if, if you have a page here and you need to add people, you could just, you would just go add people, type their email address, and if they're already in the business manager, you can just click them, you know, give them their control and assign them to it and they have automatic as uh, access without them having to accept it through the personal page and all that stuff. So um, super um, great and seamless way to manage the, admin access of, of everything. And then the last thing is if you're working with a partner, so if you're working with someone like us, which is an agency, you will want to assign partner. So they will need to provide you with their business manager um, ID, which is this number here, this 877, and then you would go in, add them as a partner, and you would say give partner access to your assets. You would copy and paste their um, Oh, I see what I did. Whoops. Um, so you would, you would um, copy and paste their partner number here. Not sure why it's doing that. <laughs> I think that.
So you will copy and paste their partner number. Um, let's try one more time. <laughs> or you could just type it. 8, uh, 7, 8, 8, 1, 7, 7, 8, 9, 4. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> because it's my own. So anyways, you would enter their partner ID and you would click next. And then you would actually invite them to the different app. Um, assets that you want them to manage such as your Facebook page and your um, your Facebook page and your um, uh, your ads manager if that's the case um, and then the last little thing that you might um, or actually yeah that's it for this and then yeah so let us know if you have questions I hope that simplifies this a little bit more um, okay